I want to share a story with you about when to roll out your high profile campaign share for an ask conversation. I was working with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and the chapter on Long Island had been working with and cultivating a pharmacy chain of stores and the owners of that chain for a number of years and they had a great relationship, but the company really never gave particularly large gifts to the chapter for research and the like. When it came time for the campaign, I pressed the chapter leader, chapter executive director, to set up a meeting so that I could meet with the number two at the company to set up a conversation for a major gift for the campaign. We had that meeting and the CEO happened to be this fellow's uncle and I asked him to go to his uncle right then and there and ask him if he would meet with our campaign chair, Robert Wood Johnson IV, to discuss a major gift. And he literally was surprised, but he agreed to do it. He went in, he talked to his uncle, came back and said, yes, he'll talk. Uh, a week or two later, we had the meeting. They had never met, neither one of them, and uh, they got along well. My role as the gift officer was to keep the conversation on track. And Woody, uh, Woody Johnson, uh, did a fabulous job, as usual, in stating the case and stating how important it is to have this particular individual and company as part of the campaign. And the uh, CEO sat back in his chair and said, you know, maybe it's time we reach deep into our pockets for this one. And we had a handshake and a deal for a million dollar gift to sponsor a research project in New York. It was all about the prestige of the campaign chair, peer to peer, bishop to bishop, that made the deal. So use your chairs wisely, but they can be very, very effective when you do. Thank you, more to come.